Foreman loosening up, testing the canvas just seconds before the opening bell. George Foreman comes out for round one in the red trunks. Ted Gulick is wearing black. Since turning professional four years ago, George Foreman has compiled a sensational record in the ring, having 34 victories in 34 bouts with 32 knockouts. Foreman is 22 years old, five years younger than Gulick. Foreman won the gold medal in the 1968 Olympic Games at Mexico City with a second round knockout of Ionis Chipolis, an experienced Russian heavyweight. Ted Gulick with back to camera, like Foreman, began his ring career in 1969. Fighting out of the Ohio area, Gulick has compiled a record of 20 victories in 23 bouts, a fine record. Foreman loves to use that long left. George has crushing power with both hands. Ted Gulick surprising the crowd here in round one. George likes to fight at long range where he can use that enormous power. The last fighter to go the entire distance with George Foreman was the tough Argentinian heavyweight Gregorio Peralta. In February of 1970, over two years ago, Peralta extended Foreman to the full 10-round distance with George winning a hard-fought decision. It was young George's toughest fight as a professional. Gulick doesn't seem to be awed by the George Foreman reputation. Long ripping jabs by George Foreman. Gulick pressing forward, surprising everyone. Here at the end of round one, Ted Gulick has held his own. And there's the bell, ending the round. Foreman comes out for round two, looking to put the pressure on Ted Gulick, always trying to end it if he can. George puts them to sleep with either hand as evidenced by his fantastic knockout percentage. Since his decision over Gregorio Peralta, Foreman has accumulated a record of 18 knockouts in a row. In a rematch with Peralta just last year, Foreman gained some measure of satisfaction by scoring a 10th round knockout over the tough Argentinian. Foreman ripping in punches here in round two. Ted Gulick showing a lot of class against George Foreman. Among George's more impressive victories, are knockouts over Chuck Wepner, George Chavallo, Boone Kirkman, Gregorio Peralta, and Luis Perez. This is Foreman's third bout this year. George KO'd Murphy Goodwin in Austin, Texas in February, and his last fight just four weeks ago, Foreman KO'd tough Clarence Boone in the second round. Those punches by George have tremendous power behind them.
Chad Gulick not taking any backward steps. Foreman pouring it on. Two jolting lefts and Ted Gulick goes down. George Foreman goes to a neutral corner as the referee picks up the count. It doesn't look like Ted's going to make it. It's all over. George Foreman continues to add to his astonishing KO record with this devastating second round knockout over a game Ted Gulick. George makes up for the lack of speed with tremendous punching power. It seems to steamroller everyone he fights. It looks as if no one, not even smoking Joe Frazier, the heavyweight champion of the world, could be called a punching favorite over this Houston Avalanche, George Foreman. Here in slow motion, let's watch that action once again. A dynamite left hook by George. Followed by a good right to the jaw, which hurts Gulick. George pushes Gulick away. He wants to end it here and now. A torrid right, which misses. A good left to the jaw. Another ripping left. A slight shove and Gulick goes down. George seems very pleased with another impressive performance. Gentlemen, your attention, please. The winner on a knockout, 228 into round two, still undefeated, George Foreman.